Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mannix here, and welcome to another episode of How It Locks, the series of videos where I discuss the different locking mechanisms and folding knives. Today is on the Balasong, or otherwise known as the Butterfly Knife. It is a two-handled knife. Most knives have one handle. This is two. I don't know of a knife that has three handles, but this is technically has two handles that come together to become one. A lot of people laugh at Balasongs for being toys and for just people who were pretending to be ninjas or something, but Balasongs are actually no joke. The Balasong, or the butterfly knife as we call it here in the U.S., is one of the strongest locking mechanisms in the world, period. Once it is engaged, this blade has absolutely nowhere to go, and I'll explain why. So when you move one of the handles right here, this one happens to be the safe handle, that's where the edge is not tore, as you can see, that's the spine of the blade right here hits the tang pin right here. So it's basically just a little cutout right there. It's a tang pin. It allows, or not allows, it forces the knife to rotate in that same position the handle is going on. However, it in turn, that same tang pin stops with the cutout of the bite handle. That's the handle that the edge is facing towards. So literally, the blade is trying to move that way, it's trying to move that way when you're cutting with it, and it's sandwiched in between these two stainless steel handles right here. The blade literally has nowhere else to go. It is literally impossible for this locking mechanism to be disengaged, especially with the latch, and especially with your grip. It's almost like a frame lock. Your grip helps enforce the lock. The blade literally has nowhere else to go. These handles right here would have to snap. And again, they're stainless steel. Not a very good chance that's going to happen. Even if these were aluminum, that would not be a very good chance. So it's one of the strongest locking mechanisms in the world. I would say it's in the top three. Believe it or not, yes, top three locking mechanisms. The Cold Steel Ram Safe Lock would be up there in the top there. I think that's a really strong one. I don't know if they make the Cold Steel Bushman anymore, but that was a really strong locking mechanism. Then you have the Paratrooper Style Knife, which is similar to the Balasong. It functions a little bit differently. I'll do a video on that in the future. But I would put this easily, easily in the top three strongest locking mechanisms in the world. It's almost got that fixed blade strength because we have two handles here sandwiching the blade. It literally cannot even try to go down based on putting negative or positive force on the blade. It has nowhere to go because both handles are stopping both forces from causing the blade to over travel or for anything to disengage. Now one of the disadvantages is you kind of have to fumble around with it to get it open. Um, I think that's sweet. I love doing the tricks and moves and such. I want to do ballast long videos in the future. But obviously if you're talking EDC terms, it's just goofy and it, it gets in the way and it's slightly annoying. It's hard to open it up, especially the longer the knife is. This one is pretty long. Most knives that have only one handle are a lot easier to operate. However, if you're a master at it, you practice a lot, it, it doesn't really matter. Me, I have no problem opening and closing these things. But they are a little cumbersome, they are a little obnoxious when you're talking in terms of EDC or even self-defense. Um, I would rather just have a single handle knife that just opens quickly, there's there's no magic to it, there's no tricks to it, it just opens and you just close it with pretty much one or two motions. This requires multiple motions, generally speaking. There's different tricks you can learn and such, and just EDC-wise, they're not optimal, That's because having two handles is more complicated than having one handle, so it's, it's as simple as that. But I will say, it is, again... Once you do have it in the open position, it's one of the strongest locking mechanisms in the world, period. And me talking about how, how it's obnoxious and flipping it around, that's just me being picky. That's me trying to find something deliberately to complain about with this locking mechanism. It's not self-actuating either. Most knives, you just you move the blade and it clicks into place and the locking mechanism does it for you. This is manual. You manually have to lock it into place yourself. That is another disadvantage. So it's, it's slower, but again, once you go from that closed to open position, you have an extremely strong locking mechanism out there. Stronger than the cold steel triad lock, stronger than the frame lock, way stronger. Fundamentally, it just defeats any single-handed locking mechanism, period. So anyway, that is the Balasong. Butterfly knife, one of the strongest locking mechanisms for a knife in the world.